Well, students, if you are asked to write for a travel magazine, how will you do it? Exactly. This is our point of discussion today in this session, writing for a travel magazine. This is easy. Just elaborate on the points mentioned in the question. Write down the exact location of the tourist spot. Also mention the climate and transportation. How will you reach that place? Food and accommodation along with the major attractions must be clearly stated in the description. Why do you want to visit that place? Also highlight the unique features of a particular place and also write your overall experience and your recommendation. Choose any tourist spot of your choice. You can write about Kashmir, Delhi, Mumbai, Goa, Kerala, any tourist spot of your choice but do research beforehand to provide accurate details. The question you have recently visited a tourist destination. Write a description of it for a travel magazine in about 200 to 250 words using the points given below. Here are the points. Name of the place. Location. Means of traveling to the destination. Climate. Best season to visit. Picturesque landscape, P-I-C-T-U-R-E-S-Q-U-E, -E, picturesque landscape, lodging and fooding, recreational facilities, places of interest in the area, local language or dress, handicrafts or products, your overall experience. You will have to elaborate on these points so that you can give a description of the place. Now my dear students, let us read my description of one of my favorite tourist destination spots and that is Puri. You know, I keep revisiting Puri. I feel that Puri is a traveler's paradise. Hence, the title of my description is Puri, a traveler's paradise and the first letter of each word must be in block letters puri a traveler's paradise let us now explore puri through this report of mine there are many tourist destinations in india and one of the best among them is puri the name of the place has to be stated in the opening statement itself Located in the state of Odisha in eastern India, just 60 kilometers from the capital Bhuvaneshwar, the location of the place also has to be mentioned and you will have to mention the exact location and the correct location. And how will you do it? You will have to prepare beforehand in order to give an exact description of the location of a particular place which you are describing. It is located along the Bay of Bengal. This tourist destination is crowded throughout the year. This is the introduction, a simple introduction, name of the place, the location of the place and just a single line about it. This tourist destination is crowded throughout the year. Finished. Now avoid repetitions. Don't repeat anything about the location anymore. Let's move on to the next paragraph. Always change paragraphs. Coastal charm meets cultural heritage in the sacred city of Puri where pilgrims flock annually to celebrate the Ratha Yatra. Besides world famous temples, Puri boasts beaches and markets that buzz year round. Look how I have framed this sentence. Coastal charm, a characteristic feature of Puri. Cultural heritage, another characteristic feature of Puri. 
in the sacred city of puri sacred this word is key to the description of this place where pilgrims flock annually to celebrate the ratha yatra surviving several cyclonic storms and the covid-19 lockdown phase puri is a treat for travel lovers this is again my special touch my effort to put this place in a proper context i keep on doing this and i also advise you to place a particular uh topic in its proper context we are all now surviving the post pandemic phase the covid-19 phase so try to incorporate that in any article or report that you are writing this will create a favorable impression this will show that you are well aware of your surroundings and the way i have put puri in its context is definitely going to impress the examiner yes puri has survived several cyclonic storms and yes the lockdown phase has been very difficult for this tourist destination but it is indeed a treat for travel lovers you can never stay away from a place like puri it is well connected by road and rail transport this needs to be mentioned transportation how will you reach a particular tourist spot you need to give the readers this particular piece of information puri is a terminal railway station and one can avail trains like puri chennai express puri howra express and so on since there is a word limit i have not mentioned many trains i have just mentioned the names of two trains puri can be reached by an air trip to bhuvaneshwar as well you will have to come to puri by car or by motorcycle or by auto from bhuvaneshwar so this is my information regarding how you will reach puri the city has a tropical climate what kind of climate tropical climate and uh, the peak season months ranging from october to february are ideal for visit to puri as the climate stays cool pleasant and soothing during this time trust me you can visit puri any time of the year there is no such thing called the peak season in puri this is my personal experience i have been to puri several times and i'll be going to puri once again this year as well i have completed all the bookings let us proceed the city has good accommodation and food facilities there are a number of good hotels like victoria club hotel the iconic puri hotel many holiday homes where the boarders can even cook for themselves the sea facing hotels attract tourists as they give a panoramic view of the vast blue sea the picturesque landscape of the sea beach is worth admiring and the sea facing hotels are a real treat for us for people like us puri is famous for seafood you can get lobsters you can get pomfrets you can get a lot of fishes you can get crabs sweets jibhe goja jibhe goja is very famous and its cuisine puri is famous for jagannath temple it is one of the four dhamas and the prime reason for visiting here is the temples there are innumerable temples in puri Puri is home to wonderful beaches like Puri Beach, Golden Beach, Swargdar Beach, 
A duration of three to four days is perfect to explore all attractions in and around Puri like the Sun Temple at Konark, Chilika Lake, Raghurajpur Artist Village, Crafts Museum. The list is endless. There is a word limit students. The list is endless. Trust me, I can go on and on. Next. Beach markets, camel ride on the beach, water sports, sand art, keep boredom away. And I'm really sorry, I forgot to mention the thing I love the most. You can be on the beach and you can play with the lashing waves for hours. The bathing on the beach is superb. It is a lifetime experience. Children love it, adults love it, everyone loves Puri because of the vast sea as well. Do mention this, Pipli. Pipli is famous for designing beautiful applique handicrafts and souvenirs are available at cheap rates. And how can I forget the saris? Women love Sambal Puri saris. A speciality of Odisha handloom. There is no language barrier here. People can speak Hindi, English, Bengali and the local language is Odia. Visiting Puri is a unique experience and tourists keep revisiting this place for its variety, beauty and grandeur. The term revisiting is important because people Go to Puri more than once, especially Bengalis. Whenever we have a vacation, we tend to get attracted towards Puri. One must not miss this paradise. My recommendation of the place. You must visit Puri at least once. Everyone, please leave a comment. Which is your favorite tourist spot? I am eagerly waiting for your reply. Till then, all the best and study well.